too tame. Let's meet the starting five for your Philadelphia 76 stars. The shooting guard position. Six. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. And now the Lakers starting group. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. James is out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Hachimura in at the three spot. And for Philadelphia, we've got Gordon. Paul George is out there with Kelly Oubre. Then there's Maxi, and it's Embiid in at the five spot. Greg, we're sure to see a lot of quality basketball here tonight, given the veteran talent on both sides. Yeah, tremendously high IQ from both teams, so expect a clean game. And some of these players have been through it all in this league. Now here's LeBron. to James. Just five on the clock. And the three ball is good. No question Bronny inherited his dad's shooting ability. Maxi kicks to Gordon. Back to Maxi. And slam dunk by Maxi. Taking matters into his own head. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. So it's the Lakers now. The 76ers getting the bucket. James against George. LeBron wishes to Davis. Goes back up. And it's good on the way in. He's automatic at the rim with that size and wingspan. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a three-point game. Gordon against James. And it's Gordon missing. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Well, there's no question, and he welcomes this, that Anthony Davis shoulders a heavy load on the defensive end. And he should, and he does. I mean, he's a true anchor. He protects the rim. He can guard out on the perimeter. He communicates well. He's got an excellent basketball IQ. And he's a guy that can cover up a lot of mistakes from his teammates. Here's Gordon following the basket by Anthony Davis. Basket counts. Inside, Gordon stays loose and free, ready to make his moves around the defense there. Defensive foul. Anthony Davis. That's his first The 76ers shooting their first free throw this game. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And, you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play freely. Free throw good, Gordon. And Gordon just continues to prove why he's so valuable. I mean, he knows... He's out there to shoot the ball, and he does it very well. Now here's James. Russell a screen on Gordon. Here's James. The shot, no good. Gordon with the defensive effort. Pass to Maxi, driving to the basket. Second chance shot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, the blend of size and skill makes him be so hard to defend, and as a result, most of the time, he draws fouls. The first one falls. Clark, we know what a great player Joel Embiid is. He was the 2023 MVP, and he was on that same road until he got injured last season. Unfortunate to see the big fella Embiid deal with the injuries that he has throughout his career, even going back to his one year in college. It's unfortunate, but that has hampered what is a special, special tower in MB. And early in his career, that's a great sign for Bronny. Hitting threes, building confidence in that jumper. 
to the middle. Here's Embiid. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Pass to Davis. Maxie against Russell. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Oh, offensive interference. The 76ers trail. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I was able to talk with Nick Nurse for a minute. I asked him about the game plan to contain LeBron James. And he laughed. He said, there's a way to contain LeBron James. All we can do is try not to give him easy looks and force him to make tough plays. I guess that's the best thing to do against Steve James. Thank you, David. And J.J. Redick is called timeout. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. On defense, the 76ers. Russell passes to LeBron. And here is James. Let's the free fly. And the Lakers with another miss. George looking around. Pass to Oubre. It's up a three. And it's George missing. Los Angeles has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. And Clark for the Lakers. Their last two seasons ended in playoff losses to the Denver Nuggets. And I tell you what, they fought hard both times, Kevin. The point differential was only 24 points over the four games in 2023 and just 11 points in 2024. L.A. actually led most of the five-game series but weren't able to advance. Here's Gordon after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Back to Gordon. Got a piece of it. Pass to Embiid. Wide open look. And he knocks down the jumper. Embiid's got six. Love the confidence from Joel. He gets the ball and knows exactly what he's going to do with it before he gets it. LeBron against George. And it's good for two. LeBron, boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first. Up top, Maxi. He's guarded by Russell. It's good. Nice touch there for Maxi. That's where Maxi's at his best. He wants to get the ball inside. James picks to Russell. Back to LeBron. And Davis wide open. He shoots. The three-pointer no good. The 76ers lead it. Oubre passes to Maxi. Back to Oubre. Pass to George. Here's MB. The shot missing. A good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. 76ers on top. They lead by two. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. <laughs> 